Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be looking at typing hooks, and we're just going to start with a couple of them. So we're going to look at uh, use state, and I think we're going to look at use uh, reducer as well today. So let's get right into it. All right, so I have a little counter uh, function going here. Uh, basically, we're just going to be able to add uh, numbers to the count when you hit this add button. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Uh, basically right here we can just hit add and add buttons there's no subtract or anything so not very useful anyways this is just uh, to demonstrate this all right so we have this uh, count and this set count uh, and right now we're setting it to zero but if we take away this zero right here you can see that TypeScript is going to throw us this little red error right here if we hover over this it's going to say object is possibly undefined so because we're not passing in an initial state uh, typescript has no way of inferring what the value should be so there's a few ways we can do this we can rely on the typescript inference so if we were just again to pass that uh, zero in or any other number uh, that will take care of that we can also pass in a string like this if we hover over this, you're going to see that it's going to be a count. It's going to be supposed to be string now. Again, that's not going to be correct. So we want to be correct with our types. Um, but if we wanted to be a little more explicit, we can actually type this out. So one other thing we might uh, want to do with that is uh, pass in a null value. So let's say we passed in null right here. We're still getting this uh, error right now. And it says object is possibly uh, null. So if we wanted to be able to allow that as a possibility, because we might want that. So we're going to come in after this use state and we're going to go like this and we're going to say number like that. And then we're also going to do a pipe operator right here. So we're going to say number or null like that. Okay. All right. So now we can see that we're still getting this red squiggly. And if we hover over this, we're going to get the object is possibly null still. So because it can be null, we have to do a little type narrowing on top of this. So this is either going to be a count or we can uh, wrap this in uh, some parentheses here. So it's either going to be a count or so we can do like this or zero. So if it is null, you're just going to get this zero. And that way that takes care of that. So that is how you're going to do that with type narrowing. For the most part, um, it's probably fine to use the uh, type inference for most things. This is gonna be when you wanna be a little more explicit. So that is how you're gonna type that. So now where this might be useful is uh, when you're coding here, say this is supposed to be a number here. If we tried to add on a string right here, you can see we're gonna get this error right away. And if we hover over that, it says argument of type string is not assignable to the parameter of type set action. And it shows you the number or null or what we're supposed to have here. So because this isn't a number or no, we're going to get this action. So that is kind of where TypeScript comes in handy is in saving you in situations like this. All right. So use state's pretty straightforward right there. Let's take a look at something a little more complicated. So let's say we wanted to type out use reducer. So if you're not familiar with use reducer, basically we're going to dispatch some sort of action. In our case, it's going to be decrement or increment uh, and then with some sort of payload attached. Uh, so we're just going to increment by one. And then um, that is going to update the state from there. So you might use this if you have a little more complex state than uh, something simple like just set count. Uh, but for us, we're just going to use this as an example. So let's go ahead and uh, change some of this up right here. So instead of this uh, right here, we're not going to use uh, use state. We're going to say const and we'll say we're going to say const and then we are going to say uh, state and dispatch, which are kind of the terminology you generally use for use reducer. Uh, and then that's going to come from use reducer. And we got to bring that in like that. And then we're going to pass in uh, our reducer. And then we're going to pass in uh, some sort of initial state. So for us, we can just have an initial state of uh, what we'll say count is equal to zero like that we can go ahead and save that now we haven't created this reducer yet so we're getting those errors and this set count um, will come in later on 
All right, so let's actually get rid of this stuff in here because we're gonna do it a little bit differently. So we're gonna have two different buttons here. We're gonna have a decrement and an increment button here. So the first one we'll just say button like this and we'll say, uh, this one we'll just say add like this. And then inside here, we're gonna do our on click like that. And we're gonna pass in here the uh, dispatch like that. And then we're gonna pass in a couple things here. So we have the type, and for us, that's gonna be called uh, decrement. And then the second thing we pass along with this is gonna be the payload. So for us, the payload is gonna just be, uh, that's gonna be increment like that. The payload is just gonna be uh, one like that. Now we still have to write some of this, so hold on. And make sure you spell dispatch right like that. And this is coming from here. So we're getting all kinds of errors still, but that's okay. Let's add uh, this one down like this. And we'll just change a couple things. This will say decrement like that. And this payload here again will just be one. And you'll show, uh, you'll see why in a second. And this will just be uh, minus like that. All right, so that's some of our markup right now. Now let's go ahead and uh, create this uh, reducer that we're uh, showing right here. So come up above here and we're just gonna say uh, function like this and we'll say reducer and it's gonna take a, a state here and that's gonna be um, our initial state, our state and that's gonna be a count of uh, zero zero like that and then we are also going to pass in the action here and we have to create that above so what we're pass here is going to be the actual type here so we're going to create a type above and we'll call it action type like this like that okay and then inside of this reducer function here so we come over and we're going to go in here and we're just going to do a switch statement here now inside this switch statement, we're gonna say action.type, okay? And then in here, we're gonna have our various cases. So for the case of increment, we're gonna say case, and we'll say increment. And then we're just gonna return here. And this is where we will uh, return our counts, and we'll say yeah, state.count plus the action.payload. So we're gonna pass in uh, our state.count and then we're gonna pass in the payload, which we're showing right here of one. So that's the addition. That's why we're passing in the same payload for increment and decrement because one we're gonna use addition and one subtraction. So then we can uh, come down for a different case here. So we can just say case like that and we'll say decrement and we will uh, return and we'll say count and we'll say state dot count minus and we'll say action dot payload just like that and i don't know why this isn't formatting on save here but i'm just gonna format the document right now so that is looking good and then we also need a uh, default case here so we can come uh, below here and we'll just say default like this and for our default case, we'll just throw a new error like that. Okay, so those are looking good. Now we wanna create this action type right here. All right, we actually gotta clean up a few things before we actually create this action type here. Um, so count should be like this, uh, and we're gonna do a comma, not a, a semicolon there, and then we can get rid of this right there. Okay, so that looks good now. Now let's go ahead and create this action type. Now let's come up here, come down, and this action type is actually gonna be a uh, union here of the increment and decrement right here. So let's come and we'll just create a type here and we'll say action type. And that's gonna be equal to, come down here, and we're gonna do a union. So that's gonna look like this. And we're gonna say type, and that is gonna say increment and then we're gonna have a payload there. And that's gonna be, the payload's gonna be of type number. Or no, maybe, but of type number like that. And then we're gonna come down again 
and again we need to do uh, the union like that and we're gonna say type and we'll say decrement and again we'll say the payload and that's gonna be of type number as well all right so that is gonna look like that uh, so now this is looking a lot better all right and then we got a little error here Oh, it looks like, I don't know why we're passing a, a zero here. That's gonna be a type right here. So this needs to be number like that. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. And those go away. And then state's not assigned yet. So let's add this below here. So we'll just say uh, state.count like that. And go ahead and save that. So if everything's working correctly here, uh, we have our action type right now, which is a union of increment and decrement and their uh, payloads along with their types. Uh, then we have this reducer, which is gonna have a state, which is uh, the count is gonna be of type number. And then we're passing in the type to the action here, which is gonna be this action type. So we're gonna have this case, we're gonna have either increment or a decrement and just add or subtract the payload that we're passing in. Uh, and then we default to an error. And then in here, we got our use reducer uh, and we're passing our reducer. And then uh, this count is gonna be initially set to zero like this. And then we just got our buttons and our markup right here. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So it's a little bit small, bump it up a little bit. And we got our add, so we can add like this and we can subtract, goes to negative. Add and subtract. Okay, so that works well. Um, you can see uh, typing something like use reducer becomes a lot more complex than just use state, but uh, it's not overly complicated and it gives you a lot of type safety. So when you're going through this and make sure that you're passing in the right types, which is basically the sole reason of using TypeScript. So you can see it's kind of effective in that sense. Uh, so once you get used to it, I'm still no expert, so I'm not uh, overly comfortable, but uh, you can see where the benefits may lie within TypeScript. So uh, thanks for watching uh, those two, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.